And we're back. Sober, caffeinated, and ready to go. I don't have my glasses, but I don't think we're going to need it for this video. But I'll go find them if I do, because we're not building anything right now. Uh, first arrivals for the final GGP setup, I believe, are here. Let's go ahead and get started and just Cobra Tech it and see what's what. Oh, yeah. All right. This is from GAG. Found a good price on the BCG at Grab a Gun. This is from Primary Arms. There's another order coming, but Cobatech. I also heard back from Geisley. They're sending me two brand new bolts for my Fed build. And then I'm going to break it down and part that out. To recoup some cash with the 10.5 Suns barrel in it and take all that apart and probably gonna offload the T2 as well because my eyes just don't don't like it so I'm still thinking about that and maybe a few other small things I want to pull up some cash for going forward but let's focus on this order uh, this is primary arms we have a 20 round 76251 NATO magazine from Mike Times three. Cool. We have one 308 enhanced carbine buffer kit from Arrow. Okay. We have, oh yeah, the Midwest Industries reaction rod for 308s. You, I don't know what you are. I forget. Let's see now. Small parts. All right, so we got our 750 gas block. I got two of the fix it kits, 556 five, 308s. It's all the same on those. So we got our springs and our detents and stuff covered. Some spares. Uh, one for controls. 1210 muzzle brake, 5H by 24. It is um, a chemo adapter. So when the Sandman does ever come, we can run it. That's good. What else we got? Is that it? Got another PA sticker with the tank. And another PA sticker with the tank. I think that's it for this order. This wasn't a huge order. Oh, there's something. I don't know what this is. It's at Christmas. Alright. And you are... Oh, <laughs> all that packaging for a gas block... Roll pin. <laughs> Why did they just toss it in the other thing? It's a lot of packaging for one little roll pin. So let's pull all this out just in case. Okay, so that should be it. Surefire. Just a random Surefire advertisement. That should be it. Alright, so get this angle here we just want to get an assessment on what's going on so obviously I've decided to build out the GGP and uh, I posted up the M5308 set and uh, I got a few guys asking I sent them info if I heard back from them see if we can make a deal I'll lose a bit on FFL transfer and uh, shipping and insurance but you know what I just it didn't make sense to build out two and obviously the Grey Ghost is the much better quality set um, so, uh, can't wait for my 308 vice blocks to get here. All right, so that's where we're at for this guy. Uh, the Midwest rod was like 140 bucks, but you have to have it. And, you know, this is my first adventure into 308s. I'm sure it won't be the last, so it, it will be, uh, I've... 
used the hell out of my 556 one in the garage. So now we have one for each platform. So that's good. So a little cash I didn't really want to have to spend, but you have to. So it is what it is. As far as the buffer kit, arrow, I was looking at LMTs, you know, and I was like, you know what? Let's just grab the arrow because at the time I was thinking I was going to build out the arrow. So this will suffice for now. We'll see how it does. Eventually maybe get a better quality one. Let's see how it shoots. It might just work fine, you know. Uh, the LMT is nicer. It's also two and a half times the price. I don't know if there's a drastic difference. I think the, with the LMT you can run standard buffers versus this is a dedicated 308 buffer. Very small. Um... The forward controls, I wanted to try one, and this is the 1210. When I looked them up, the 1615 or whatever it's called, and this one, the guys seem to like this one a little better. So it's got that single chamber there, so we'll see how that goes. As far as the gas block, it's the right, I mean, I didn't go adjustable. I was thinking, should I go adjustable for 308? So let's start with the 750 standard VCM. Get it built up, head to the range after we get some ammo, and let's see what's what. And if we, uh, especially once I get the can and I'm shooting suppressed, if we have issues on a functional basis, perhaps we might swap out to an adjustable gas block to tweak that a bit. Um, arrow, small parts. Oops, kit. Times two. Helps to label shit these days. My brain don't work very good anymore. Alright, so lastly, I want to check out this uh, Wilson Combat BCG. The only thing I was like, eh, on the fence about is that watching all the Sotar videos, um, I know Nickel Boron isn't really one of the more preferred BCG coatings. Hard Chrome, I believe, is the, considered some of the best. I checked to see if Psyonix made a 308 BCG. I didn't find one. I don't think they make one. And I said, well, we have a Wilson Combat barrel. And I did some research on Wilson Combat's quality and, and QC. And they had a great rep. So I figured, let's take a shot on this. And, and the head spacing should be pretty much dead on, given same manufacturer, I'm hoping. That's a big bitch, isn't it? Woo! <laughs> and what, what are you? You are an O-ring. Was it a spare? Okay. Now the staking is it's yeah. It's all right. It's not super fabulous. <laughs> it is Pride Month. It's not fabulous, but it'll do. Oh my God. Here my gear. Hmm. Shiny. Big fucker on 308s, huh? Realize how much bigger they were. That's what she said. Let's uh, pop this in and see how the contrast looks. That's all we're going to do today. I'm still waiting on my vice blocks and stuff, so I'm not going to be in a rush to try to build shit on my lap or on the bench. I want to do it right. Take my time. I'm not rushing through this fucker. Oh, yeah. That oh, looks very cool. And from an aesthetic point of view, the fluted stainless barrel it was going to look pretty tight. It says thermal fit, so I can't just. That's pretty dope. Um, we have a wolf gray sop mod on the way for it because it is a gray ghost. I didn't order a grip in gray. Um, I had one, then I painted the hell out of it. I may hit. I have a, that B5 that's all rainbow colored in the garage. I may just hit that with that primer I have that's gray for now. I mean, I have a few grips. They're all mostly FDEs and stuff, so that's not going to jive, but uh, we'll figure that out. I may just hit it with the, the gray primer and just call it good. 
Um, so, and we have our gas block here. Wilson Combat. Um, there's our O-ring. These are Gen 3's, right? Yeah. P-Mag, can't go wrong with it. Careful. Easy. Well, there's no mag catch yet. I'd say we're off to a good start. <coughs> um, as far as the Wilson Combat Nickel Boron BCG, it should do its job. I don't think it was a bad call. I got it for slightly discounted from retail. I think I paid two thirty six for it around there, two thirty nine. Um, when it came to BCGs, I mean, you have your arrows for a buck sixty to a buck eighty, and two hundred for the nickel boron. And then on the opposite side, you got your LMTs for five six hundred dollars for three oh eights. And then you have like you know. I guess you'd call this a mid-level BCG. Um, tolerances on this Great Ghost are insane, though. I will say that. Whereas the Arrow, not so much. It's a little looser. There we go. Okay. Well... So we're waiting on the uh, the rest of it, the Grey Ghost 15 inch rail AR10, uh, the SOP mod in Wolf Grey. I'm going to harvest a trigger from one of the sub-16 builds that I can't really shoot given all the brace drama going on. So likely one of the Geisleys, probably like, a, well I don't know, what's best for 308, it's the same as AR15s right, it's all about preference. I can pull an SSAE out. I can pull an SDE or an SDC out. I do like my flat bow triggers. So we'll see. Um, yeah. So we're off to a good start. Waiting on my... I got the vice block on the way from Gun Tech. As well as the sleeve that I got the email about yesterday. For the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, the Real Avid. Vice block I keep in the garage that you can tension it up and down so you make it nice and tight. And so we'll have that. And then we'll keep the gun deck one in here. So I can do torque and stuff in the garage. And I can just, you know, not have to use a rag. And so it's nice and solid when I'm tweaking and adding lights and optics and whatnot. So we should be well covered with that. I haven't addressed what to do about a dust cover. I'm not seeing a lot of options out there. V7 makes some. They're not cheap. The titanium's like 75 bucks. And it doesn't even come with the rod. It's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> For 75 bucks, it should at least come with the rod and spring. So I'm, I'm still looking around. I did remove the one from the arrow set that's over there. And it, it doesn't fit. It doesn't It's too tight of a fit for some reason. So it's a bit out of spec. Thanks, arrow. Or these have really precise requirements. I wish this would have shipped with one. Some of their sets on their website show them. When they show just the receiver sets, they have them on there. So I don't know what that's about. I may just reach out to them and see if I can buy one of their dust covers. Uh, if you're aware of a decent 308 dust cover, you know, let me know. So, you know, we'll get started with installing the Ambi Bolt Catch hardware. And, uh... Um, we're going to probably rock the end plate. This arrow set comes with an end plate and a castle nut. It's nothing fancy. It's not your FCD type stuff, but it'll be functional. I, just, I didn't feel the need to go stupid on it. All the money been flying around. I need to recoup some cash. Uh, so, you know, it'll suffice. 
my main goal is to get this thing up and going and do some shooting. We do have the guys lead I got in the deal of 308, so we're going to rock that. Um, yeah. So just waiting on the rest of the parts, I believe, maybe tomorrow, I think it said. Um, and then we can slowly get this thing going. As far as the ambi safeties, I don't know. I might just run these 50 SQs. I was going to put them on the LMT and swap the LMT's little spec ambies over to this. I'm still on the fence which way I want to go. Uh, we'll figure that out. Um, oh, I just got this uh, Randy FTE APC, but we're not doing FTE and that doesn't fit. <laughs> it's wider. Everything's bigger in 308 land. So, that's about it, man. Uh, stoked. We're gonna. It's gonna be a pretty decent, solid mid-tier 308 gun. I think we got some good parts. Some better than others. Uh, as far as the BCG, it's it was a shot in the dark, honestly. I mean, I watched a lot of videos and reviews on Wilson Combat stuff in general, and they supposedly have good PC. Their tolerances at their factory are pretty impressive. A lot of their stuff is really expensive, so hopefully this gets the job done. You know. And uh, we'll go forward. I gotta order a little bit of ammo. Once we get this all built up, we'll get out there and gonna figure out what optic I'm gonna put on it. I don't know yet. Uh, we're gonna be zeroing at the 50 and then we're gonna shoot the 100. The 200 at the club, when I go with the boys, that you have to qualify in front of a guy and show him you can shoot the 100 safely. <laughs> so, probably the first go, we're gonna stick with the 50 and the 100. Um, and just try to get some basic groups once we get a little zero action on whatever optic I put on it. And go from there. So cool. Enjoy your Friday. Have a good one. See you when I see you. Your pal, Jake America.